Hi everyone, I'm Jay, good to see you again. We are going to be having a little play around with Top Down Arcade Racer Gene Valley 2. The sequel to the very popular original Gene Valley back years and years ago. I was lucky enough to get in touch with the developers from Finland, Curious Chicken Games, and they very kindly sent me a key to try us out, record and get out for you lot today. The game will be officially released on the 30th of May on Steam, PC and Linux. And like I said before, it is a sequel to the very, very popular top-down arcade racer Gene Valley, originally released in uh, 2002. It was one of the most played arcade racing games of all time. With this incarnation of the game, we can have fun racing alone against the AI with our friends in the no split screen necessary couch PvP or try our hand at creating tracks and sharing them with the world. Online multiplayer will hopefully be coming in the Steam early access with Steam Workshop capabilities also in as well. So just imagine all, all the the amazing varieties of cars. We you could be getting people creating Formula One, IndyCar, NASCAR, Australian supercars, British touring car, all sorts of series ready for you to race at home. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to the channel, checking out the rest of the videos that we do. Also feel free to comment underneath at any time if you want me to continue doing little videos like this for other games apart from the usual sim racing that we do. Also let me know in the comments underneath if you are considering putting this game on your Steam wishlist upon release. On the select player screen you have all these different types of cars from General Formula, Rally and the Classic as well. You have the ability to change all the paint schemes, all the colours, the names of the car, and each car has its own little, little personality to it as well. There are detailed car physics, <laughs> we're talking like front wheel drive, rear wheel, all wheel drive as well, suspension and travel, rebound, weight distribution and more. Yes, this game goes into every little detail concerning the abilities of your cars and how well they will drive with the different terrains that you can race in this game as well on the different tracks. Car choice will be very, very important on certain stages. So once you've done your little customizations, changed a few of the liveries about, you can go over to see the first few tracks which are available for us to check out. On the right hand side where the none selected is, you choose your mini tournament just there. As you can see, Beachville, Canyon Neon, Canyon Neon, oh my goodness, my pronunciation is terrible today. <laughs> Coastic, Moderna, like all sorts of different terrains and tracks for us to have a try. We will chuck on for now. Let's put in Rustica on as well as this. Really mess things up and go with Mudroot as well. Easy as that, you can set how many laps goes all the way up to 50 if that is the sort of thing you want to do. But we're going to be doing some nice shorter races today, so four laps will do. You can also do time, distance, change your grid order by points in the championships as the championship goes on. You can sort out the grid from there, set it to reverse to change things up slightly. And then the fuel usage, tire wear, damage factor, another feature of this game where your tires will wear, your fuel will go down and the more you keep hitting stuff your damage will go up as well. You do have a pit crew in race so you can get repairs, refuels done, but once you learn how to drive nice and safely you'll be relying on that pit crew a little bit less. Controls on keyboard, usual WASD, nice and easy. Game will have controller support as well. And let's get our first uh, first race done. We are the pink car at the top. Full speed ahead. Let's see how we go. I like already how the tyres do leave marks on the road. As, it, as you can see, damage is... <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of a hit at the moment. The Aston Martin just absolutely going crazy. Same with the McLaren behind. But it's a, a nice, fun, chilled out game. I can see 
everyone online just having an absolute blast with this. If you are a Twitch streamer or YouTube content creator and you want to get some people together, this will be an absolutely fun-filled, hilarious way to spend your time. In the build I've got at the moment, there is no damage to the AIs, just myself. But when that is released in Steam Early Access, everything will be working absolutely fine from there. As always, if you do find any bugs or anything like that, please make sure you get in touch with the devs and let them know. I'll be putting some links underneath. Uh, we've had a bit of a rough one here though. A uh, unhealthy car just getting across the line. And we do get fourth. How we got fourth? I don't know. Easiest clicking next to go to the next race. Now this one's going to be a bit more interesting. Obviously with the F1 cars not suited to dirt straight away, you can feel the difference. There's a little bit of elevation. As you can see with which ways the cars are facing. A lot of these cars are struggling. I'm just going to uh, casually punt the Ferrari out of the way. Formula cars not suited to this terrain at all. I'm finding it a lot easier against the AI this terrain though. The AI really struggling with this. Nice outside pass to the Aston Martin. Look at me go. Jump over the rocks. Whee! Let's see if we can get some pet stops going. And look at that, it's nice and easy. That easy to get your car back to spick and span shape. So it didn't do any refueling or changing of any tyres there. But damage is repaired on the car. Trying so hard to get past the Red Bull. Why get past when you can just mount it and climb aboard it? One last jump. Ooh, with a bit of pear shape there, straight into a rock. But struggled a lot on that train just there. Last lap, lap four. All I'm doing at the moment is just holding down W key. Using the A and D to get the turning going. You can reverse in this one. <sighs> Tell you what, this will be a nice addition to uh, the amount of street circuits. F1's getting over the last few years. And with that, just a short parade lap just to wait for everybody else to get through. But five cars will be released at launch, with more coming later, each with their own unique performance and handling characteristics. You can even, if you really wanted to, have different multi-classes in the same race. Just imagine it, a rally car versus a Formula 1 car here. Chuck in a few of the classics as well. And you will have Chaos personified. With that, mini championship is over. We are the quickest in the land when we feel like it. And that is just a very, very quick short preview of Gene Rally 2. And there you have it, a quick rundown of Gene Rally 2 from Curious Chicken Games. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you haven't already, make sure you thumbs up video subscribe and check out the rest of the videos we do comment underneath what you thought about this little mini review video should i do should i do more on other games very similar to this give me some uh, ideas of what to do next underneath and if you are going to be wishlisting this game on steam it will be released on early access on the 30th of may let me know how you get on we might even do some games of this on stream as well so check that out with uh, few of the other links that you see underneath in the video description such as the twitch discord twitter all that sort of stuff but thank you so much for watching i shall see you all next video take care of yourselves but most importantly take care of each other